Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here this start of a new campaign in which we're using this special mod called the Failed Revolution. What if America lost to Britain in 1776? But we're playing as Prussia just because we can, because everyone loves Prussia, right? We're doing the future of the Prussian state though. Although the glory days of Frederick the Great lay long behind us, there's still hope for our future. The Prussian state can once again rise to glory and unify the German people. The eagle will rise over Europe. And let's see the grand promise. Uh, let's do that one first. The Prussian government campaigns for greatness and the restoration of the former glory once held. They, they should not task the loyal Prussians ahead of the Poles. Yeah. But, uh, you might be wondering, why are we playing as Prussia when it's all about America and the UK? Or, uh, yeah, the UK. The Dominion of North America, or whatever. Um, that is because... Well, let's see what Prussia's up to. Our focus isn't that great, like, as far as I can tell. We got three, three paths, and that's pretty much it. So, I just wanted to see what we could do here, so. Oh, there goes Austria. Oh, coronation of Edward VIII. Okay, well, cool. We don't have that many divisions here either. Um, yeah, that's not going to be looking great. We have 26 divisions, mostly infantry, one motorized, a little horse, just one horse. And uh, yeah. Let's see what happens. Hopefully, we do okay. Oh, we can form Germany. Look at that. Bavarian, Prussian, Baden, Württemberg, Hanover, Hessian, Mecklenburg, uh, Mecklenburg, and Schleswig States. Oh, that's cool. I need to complete different focuses to get there. So that's not bad. We get 1.34 political power every single day. A little bit of auto vice and future of the Prussian state. We're going to get the stability first because stability is king in Hoi Forb. You never knew that. But we have long standing democracy. Although young when compared to the British system, the Prussian state has also been a bastion of de democratic principles in Europe. Sure. What do we do here? Nothing. Not much. Oh, so we have military industrial complex. The military dominates the industry of the nation, arming all of the aspects of the economy. Nice. Army of the state, which is pretty nice. Prussia's commitment to the army is led to be called the Hatched from a Cannonball, or an army of the state. And Zolverein, and what is this thing? Unlocks the Bundestag. Oh my goodness. Gesamtdeutsches Bundestag. Members of the Bundestag. Current resolution, no resolution. Reject. Veto. I want an absolute monarchy, please. Absolute monarchy. Oh. I guess we have no union policy, which is fine with us. No unions. We only have three research slots, which does kind of suck, but... Oh, well. Uh, theorists, Von Braun. I'm pretty sure Prussia's not done yet, but I wanted to try mine anyways, just because it would be a pretty quick campaign, it looks like, so. Um, ooh, Captain of Industry. Well-connected citizen? That's not bad. It's only 5% more political power, which is okay. But long-standing democracy, if we have to have a democracy. Alright, let's see what we can do here. We'll throw you on the line as well, because... Oh, why not? And you'll be led by some infantry guy named... Uh, Yo, Anders Blaskovitz, yes, Blaskovitz. You're gonna be, uh, under model. Von Manstein and model. We love the pair. Nice. Construction speed, yes, thank you. Death of the Russian Tsar. Well, goodbye. Whoopsie, that's a way too ahead of time for me. Uh, let's go along instead. Yeah, that's fine. We're building up some civvies. And after this one, we'll do the 1936 elections. Now the elections are upon us. We must decide on the next members of parliament, which. Alright, let's gotta slow down here. So we can invite French scholars in Jacobism. The king will be disposed in a republic. Enlightenment and pan-nationalism. Integrated faction members, united Germany, huh? All Germans united. Self-governing Slavic states. That's some kind of cool. Dissolve the Russian Austrian Empire. Or we go with Social Democrats hold a majority monarchist victory. Dissolve the Reichstag. Figurehead monarch, that's not bad. Um, union of equals. Towards German unification, dissolve the confederation. Look east. The Russo-German pact, or look south. A Germanic Brothers Alliance. Restore Wow, we weekly war support and daily monarchy support. That's that's very strong. Holy crap. Actually, since we're here already. Um let's go. Right, that's fine. Uh betray our Austrian allies. Not bad. Proclaim Germanic unity or German unity. Reform the Holy Secular Roman Federation. Attack the Rhine. Monarchist victory? The conservatives who seek to bring power back to the monarchy to secure the majority. I actually want to try all three routes here, but they seem kind of interesting to be honest with you. But there's only so much time in the time of this recording, so. Prussian general elections. Elections are being held across the country in the nation's most important election yet. Die Radikalen, die von Hohenzollern, Loyalisten, and the Social Demokratische Partei are fighting for the demonstrants in the Reichstag. The winner of the elections are. I don't know. Social Democrats and Die Radikalen? Jacobin victory. A surprise victory by the VHL. My apologies if you didn't want me to take this route, but... Yeah, von Hugenberg! Empower the Junkers. Ooh, we get more daily... Let's get that one first. 
pro-king propaganda. The king must be shown as powerful, unifying force he is. And then empower the Junkers. The Junkers and their power and influence will help the Kaiser gain absolute authority. Are we going to dissolve Congress? Or the Parliament, I mean? That's not, that's not America here. No, it's not yet. Uh, not bad. Here, do this. Just so you can spread yourselves out a little bit more. There you go. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, Von Vikes, uh, go ahead and take his job. That's fine. Let's get a bunch of generals here already. So I'm going to deal with this later. Hopefully the French will be too, too tough, but you never know. Any other? Uh, Schultz. Yes, Schultz. Because now, I don't want to think about this at all. And we should be okay just doing it like this. Osmok. Not bad. Express industry, very good. It is still 1936 only, so grab some of that. Oh, not that one. We're doing mobile warfare, even though we literally have no tank divisions. Oh, I forgot research speed too. My bad. So, yeah, it's interesting. Everyone going to go aggressive. We're going to go all out. We could get some more stability, but we're doing pretty darn well in stability already. Um... Liberal journalist. Oh, that'd be nice and all, but we're not going that route. We're going to slightly monarchist. That's okay. Cabinet. So, Martin. Okay. You know what? If Martin Bowman is here, could be worse. Thank you, Martin. And then uh, empower the Yunkas, and then dissolve the Reichstag. Now the Parliament of the Prussian State stands only the hindrance to our true power. Absolutely. Uh, let's see, let's build things where we get a lot more resources. Ah, uh, you know what's nice? Poland doesn't exist. Ah, oh, so good. But I hope you guys have a pretty good day. I'm doing okay myself. I feel like we're moving pretty speedily through this, which is kind of nice. I like I like the speed of some of the mods. It's just, it's just, it feels like there's more stuff going on sometimes. Sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes. Oh my god, we need so many factories. Uh, Gorilla 2, we need, we need, we need planes. We, we definitely need planes. We, we literally have no planes. Literally no air force at all. Which is not good. Uh, we might want to grab some anti-air since we really don't have an, uh, an air force. <laughs> so, that probably would be good. Let's get some research speed first. Get bringing down this uh, land doctrine for now, too. Hmm. Yeah, you guys are nice, but... Still. That's actually not bad. We do get more attack. Oh, it's, I thought it was just attack. We get attack and defense. Second American Revolution, which I will play sometime. I'm not sure when. And there goes Italy as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Keep smoking. Pride of the crown, huh? This is all the Reichstag. We don't believe in the Reichstag here for this campaign. Hold the North German Conference. The North Germans need to gather and decide the future of the Confederation. Oh, wait. There's stuff here, too. I forgot about this side. Kolchak's Farty's coup. Oh. Oh, we can reform the economy. That might be good to do as well. Let's see. So we can have embrace industrial complex. Nationalize the military industry. National defense fund. Balance the economy. And again, research slot. Or look to the Zolverein. Oh, we can do this route too. We such a lot of developments across the Union. Um, we'll see how, we'll, we'll wait for that stuff. Because even though I'd like to get into the research slot, three is still not terrible. It's You can easily just have a world domination campaign with uh, three research slots. I'm not really too worried about that too much, but we'll see. Uh, Fortress Buster, yeah. Do we any other upgrades for anyone else here? No, it sucks. Anyone? No? Okay, that. Ah, oh, more political power, good. Well, we got Martin Borman. We get 1.7 political power every single day, which is pretty darn nice. Let's Greek theorists. I mean, mobile warfare would be really nice, but 5% more research speed for mobile warfare is okay, but we get more max speed for tanks, even though we really don't have tanks, but we need our max speed, whatever. So yeah, we'll wait for this one. An army of the state sounds really nice, though. Uh, for a new field marshal, mobile warfare. Side with Guderian versus side with the old guard, superior firepower. But we're already going down. Like, we literally started with mobile warfare, so. Um, yeah. The attack and range for fighter initiatives for that. Why? Nice. Well, I hold the North German conference. North Germans need to gather to decide the future of the Confederation. Absolutely. What did you do here, guys? Russian Republic. Duma. Kazakh People's Army. His last name is Talgad Biglodinov. Alash Odan Republic. Nice mustache, Adolf. And Turkestan, too. And G Mr. Generico. Why did they black and white him out? I don't know. I don't understand why sometimes I'm, I'm, why some of the mods. I mean, I'm not saying there's a bad thing at all, but like, why do they always make them black and white? I, I like the flesh. Of course, then again, it does take time to do that, so I do oh, understand that sometimes. That's why that, that's that might be why they do that. But um, I, don't know, I prefer. This. I seem like the actual color, the pigment in the skin. You know, no matter who it is. But the Prussian Parliament has been formally dissolved, making way for the Kaiser to secure absolute authority. Nice. Hey, the Prussian King has announced today that the Prussian Parliament met for the last time. To secure the Prussian state, yes. 
Oh, DNVP, huh? Oh, Herman Goring is there. But he's losing support every day, which is a good thing. Herman Goring, please leave, please. Um, not bad. I do want to form Germany, but we'll see what happens. Like, we have five army XP. Not bad. Oh, oh, hello. Holy crap! What the heck it just happened here? Dmitry Alexandrov, Dmitro Donstov, Yanka Kupala, Carles Ulmanis, Ant Antanas Smetnona, Konstantin Petz. I don't know, I just, if we're going to go with this, I feel like we just got to go this route and then look south. No, no, we're going to go look east. But that's so strong. Reform the Holy Roman Empire. Uh, I think we have to do that. I think I have to do that one. I have to do that one. That sounds like so much fun. Wait, hold on. <gasps> Daddy! Oh, I mean, Joseph. Uh. Uh. <laughs> uh, no comment. Russian Civil War. Oh, look at that. Leon Trotsky. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. Russian Loyalist Army. Wait. Far Eastern Naval Administration. When I played as Russia, they didn't do this badly. Again, I was playing as... Hmm. Well, alright. Um, you guys literally don't help us make any... Oh, a bunch of bears there, too. You literally don't help us make anything else here. As much as I want 5% more political power, Captain of Industry for now. What the heck? Oh! This was supposed to be Russian, too. Rojevsky. Hello. And let's look at the portrait. That's a nice flag. Kolchak. Grigory Mikhailovich Semyonov. Semyonov. And nobody. Political violence, ethnic divides, outdated armed forces. Yeah, you, yeah it kind of sucks for you guys. Don't it. Nice. Let's see what happens. The members of the Confederation of Men in Berlin to decide the future of the Confederation. They should unify or dissolve the Confederation. Ooh. Man, we're moving through this fast. Uh, dissolve it? I want I want to do German unification. And union of equals would be nice. We can invite everybody, but... It's my first campaign doing this, so dissolve the Confederation. This Confederation can't stand anymore and should be dissolved. Um... I don't think I want the Russo pact, the Russo German pact. I mean, the Russians have long been our strategic ally, and we should prioritize our alliance with them. Let's look south. The Austrians have, since the days of the HRE, been our strategic ally. We should continue that long standing alliance. Let's see what happens. Oh, we still have a few guns. What are we missing here? A support. Oh, well, hello. Ah. Ooh. Hmm. We could get rid of some of this stuff and actually get some military police and replace it with that. But let's do this. Garrisons. And now that we have ten, we can at least take off artillery because we don't need them on there. That's fine. Wait, what? Oh my god, I duplicate. I thought I duplicated it, but whatever. Ah, oh, screw. We're not getting horses in. I don't believe in horses here. Horses are fake government spies. Alright, occupied territories, civilian oversight's fine. Yeah, give them there. So we should have enough for that for now. Uh, political power wise, we're gonna spend it on. Mechanical computing is nice. <sighs> Fortification. Communist revolutionary. All these don't don't do anything for us right now at all. Kinda sucks. Smooth talker, that does nothing for me. Mauser, go with Mauser. Make it easy on us. Reinforce rates, just for industry. Nice, we that too. We could have gone with uh Military police, but uh, we're fine. We're fine. It's fine. Looking south, military expansion. This is really strong. Restore spirit of the past. We could definitely use more war support. The past, the ways of the past, are the ways of our future. The Hoi Roman Empire must be restored under rightful Prussian leadership. I love the Hoi Roman Empire. We need more weekly war support. Do the monarch support more stability? What? What's not the law? Seriously, what's not the law? Can we even make tanks? Yeah, we can. We need way more army XP, though. Wow. We're going down mobile warfare, but all we're doing is just <laughs> getting using infantry. Oh, look at this. Austria. Excited to our offer to join the German Manic Brothers Alliance. That's what we shall stand and fall together. Uh, strike southward. That would be bad. Proclaim Germanic unity. Attack the Rhine. Well, I guess military expansion plan. The army is not at the strength that we need to achieve our dreams. It must be heavily strengthened to secure our future. A future for the survival of our children? Probably. 
Still going up by 0.03 a day. Nice. Very good. Keep building, 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 building. If you guys could smooth yourselves out a little bit better than that, I would actually really appreciate that, but whatever. Because having 12 here is a bit much. Just saying. Oh, now, now that it's pretty cool. cool. Alright, so if that's the case, get some industry stuff. IG Fobbin is always pretty good. IG Fobbin. Yeah, military expansion is pretty good too, as well. 1515 is pretty good. We will, of course, need more, way more factories. We're not even. Oh my god, we're not even making tanks. Oh, that AI. Oh, we're set up for success here. Oh, American Independence? Also, I did. I think I. Yeah, I left this on A Historical. That's right. I'm pretty sure I did. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I left this on A Historical. Of course, it might also help to see if we know which way the Austrians are going. Prussian. Wait, what? A more plural union. Oh, they were going down this way. And they probably still will be going that way. British model holding on to the past. Kill the eagle. Yeah, they'll probably try to kill us eventually. Oust Carl. Oh, boy. Cool. And also, I do apologize if you can't hear that. Just because uh, uh, there might be some copyright stuff. It might literally be copyrighted. Music-wise, music like... When things get copyrighted, you never know what's going to happen. I literally don't know what's going to happen, so... Secure North Access Sea? You'll probably do that one first. In the event of the war, our trade along the North Sea will be woefully unprotected from foreign interception. We must secure this territory. Alright, so if that's the case, we have five divisions. We should be able to take out these guys without too much of a problem, right? They have zero. They have, these guys should all have zero, right? Elastic Defense, Mobile Infantry, of course. So let's just take the Speedy Boys. And we'll go bit by bit. When we get there. And then we're going to go with 37 stuff. Get some more cap. That'd be nice. Not bad. Spirit of the Past. I mean, that's a little ridiculously strong. Could go to all unions allowed. Way more political power, but... Mm. Banned unions. Alright, not bad. Not great, but not bad. Uh, construction. That's almost 38. Uh, looking pretty good. This stuff is okay. It's okay. We definitely need some more casts. Uh, no, let's grab the military, please. I did say we might get it, so. Better planes, Meza Schmidt. I always choose Meza Schmidt. I want you someone else. Junkers, even though we don't have that much cast anyways, but whatever. Still training, still training, which is fine with us. We almost have 10 more army XP as well. Because of that, we're just going to throw another thing on infantry right there. We'll have, like, no guns, but whatever. Hey, no guns! Strike southward, secure north axis, sea axis. Yes. Followed up with no manpower and strike southward. Our southern flank is vulnerable to the French. Oh, weakness. Cannot, we cannot let them exploit. Oh, boy. People are killing each other. Well, everybody, it's time to do what we do best as Germans and take on everyone. Or at least a couple other Germans. Frederick Francis of the Fourth. Oh, loyalist privileges. Anti Jacobism. <sighs> Don't think I really need to call my allies in, but I think we won this war. I think we won. Cool. And let's see these guys next. Please and thank you. Good job, guys. First war done in the failed revolution as a good old German state, and we've done well. We get a war with all of them. Oh, Duchess Sophia Charlotte. Hello there. You're gonna die. Oh, hamburgers as well. Don't forget the hamburgers. Rudolf Ross. Oh, Hanover. Thank you. Thank you for the like the 12 guns you got. Thank you for not defending yourself and your property. And as well as Oldenburg. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hamburger time. Kiel, yes. Feels like Victoria too, almost. No, guys. Oh, hello. You know, we may be Protestant here, but if we have God on our side... I kind of wouldn't mind that. Still consider the North G Germanic Brothers Alliance. Oh, you're fighting somebody already. Okay. Ooh, we could really cock block Italian uh, unification. That actually might not be too bad. Let's just come down here too. Huh. You try it. Why not? Bring some air superiority. Be kind of nice. Can we just go straight on in, maybe? 
trucking all the way through here. I want you to cut off the capital. This is not fair, but since when did we care about playing fair? The AI cheats. Why don't we? We got him! <laughs> Alright then. Um, You know what would be nice? Austria. There you go. It's not bad. Mm, not great, but not bad. Or we could give him all this. And Milan. Now that's a bit much. That's a bit extreme. But then again, we do dictate what happens here, so. Oh. Oh, you're this too. Oh, here, here, pop guy. Here you go. Nice. Now look at that. The Papal States do be looking a little thicker now. I like my Papal States thick. With a capital double T. Now we're still building ourselves up. So honestly, this is not bad. I like it. I like it a lot. And we did raise the conscription level off screen. We are now on limited conscription. But strike southward. Very, very good. Reclaim Germanic unity. Let's go over here and start doing some of this stuff. Army of the state. Not that one yet. Uh, the Prussian state, long being an army of the state, needs to reform its military. How many divisions do you all have? I'm going to assume none. Alright. Oh, they do have one. I think Baden has one. Oh, jolly good for you. Actually, don't do that. Uh, go wee. Exactly like that. And get the high pitch wee in there. Not bad. We're looking pretty good. Too bad we're going to kill these guys off later. Germanic Brothers of the Alliance, even though you're Italian. Actually, how much manpower do you have? 84,000. That's not bad, actually. That's pretty decent. All right, Bayern. Have fun with those boys. A little war economy. We can't go there. Uh, military factory. I guess we might as well choose you. After this one, uh, reform the economy. The economy is in shambles. It needs to be reformed. Pretty much. Pretty, pretty, pretty much. Much, much, much. Very nice. Your turn. Uh, let's go over here. Stuttgart. Dankeschön. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Why are they guaranteed by those guys? Wait, what? Is that a bug? That seems like a bug. That seems like a bug. Wait, why are they guaranteeing those people? I'm not going to fight the, the uh, British Commonwealth. I refuse to. Uh, but honestly, like, to form Germany... Uh, for game German Unity, Enlightenment. Hmm. We can do this first. We're all... We take out the Austrians first. They'll all become all cores of us. And attack the Rhine. What if we did that one first? These guys do have a lot of divisions. But then again, so do we. What if we were to do something like that? Actually, can we just do... No, we have to... Hmm... Now, this might be a stupid idea. But then again, how will we know if we don't try things out, right? Right. That guy's R20 combo width. It is 38, so let's grab some better infantry stuff. So I guess we will do Betrayer Ossianale is next. Uh, the actually, does this ever expire? Why are they guaranteed though? What's the lore behind that? We don't even get cores on this stuff too, so that's why we gotta do the other stuff first. So we'll leave. Um, hopefully we can just defend. They should still be in our lines. We should be able to call them into the war. We should be able to, right? Right. Panzer twos? We're not even making Panzer... Well, we are making Panzer ones, I guess, but still, not very good. Need a few more guns, a few more motorized pieces of equipment, maybe a little bit more support equipment as well. That would be pretty nice to get. Mm, what do we have for military staff? Organization? Bad. I do like the organization. That's pretty good. Brasic? Infantry Shona. We gotta get Shona first. Yeah. Yeah, we definitely gotta get him. Yeah. Mm, we'll see. If anything, I want to move quickly through... Poland, if possible. Increase up, but just a little bit first. That's fine. They have a lot of manpower. We actually have more than they do. Alright, let's see what happens, you know. You never know what's going to happen. Got plenty of manpower, though. 
Mobile Factory, getting mass motorization is going to be super helpful. Super, 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 super helpful. Keep building, building, building. We got plenty of guns, that's nice. Alright, so now they're not there. Attacking them is probably going to be a big old mistake. And let's go back up to the top now. Reform the economy. Ah. Alright. Can we actually like, rush in there pretty quickly? We might be able to. As long as you kind of hold ish the line here ish. Ish. If you move around, three, two, could just go in. You know, let's save before we do that. I don't know what the French are going to do, but let's save just in case. Um, if we strike fast and quickly enough, we should do okay. Oh, you're not even in our lines anymore. Well, I guess we yeah, did get rid of the faction. Yeah. Yeah, go, yeah we should be able to just go straight to war these guys. Yeah, we can, go, we can get through the Czech lines first. Go through Austria proper. That should be pretty good as well. Are they doing force defense here? No, oh, it's mountains. No wonder, no. But they've been cut off, so. And they're gonna be spread through here pretty quickly, so we gotta spread through here pretty fast ourselves. Oh boy. That's yeah, not great, but whatever. Hungary's been called on, that sucks. Better have equipment's good, though. Um, it is still 38. Speed, there you go. Come on, hurry up, kill these divisions off. Let me start capitulating some of these guys, that'll be good. Yeah, it's not looking good for us, is it? Nope, alright, so now I do this. Spread out. We've got more factors though, which is very good. Go and do that. Go and do that. Oh, we got encircled here. That sucks. Bye. Because they will probably start attacking us soon too. Oh no, we gotta get prog. Gotta get prog first. Praha will be ours. Just don't lose. Oh, we lost Königsberg. God dang it. That sucks. Take prog. Hmm. Oh, it's okay. Go to war economy. That sucks. Nice. I, I, I had a feeling they would have attacked. They would be attacking us, but okay. We'll slowly be going in. Slowly, slowly, slowly. This is mounds we're fighting, which kind of sucks, but whatever. What do you have here? Anything else? No, don't really care. Yeah, that sucks. We can't do that one. Um, infantry organization. Org is pretty good to get. Hills, mountains, especially for this Polish territory. Oh, it's actually our territory, but the Poles did take it over, which sucks. But oh well. At least we did move into Salzburg, which is pretty nice. Alright, so where are we going to hit these guys? We're still struggling over here, which is fine. I kind of knew they would do that. We'll probably go and do look at the Zolverine. Um, well, maybe not. A resolution will be held. And press industrial complex. An industrial complex that has plagued and corrupted economy can be used to our advantage. Pretty much. So, you know, the reason why we're doing it like this is because they're going to be supporting and, like, moving divisions over to help, like, the initial areas that we attacked. Which means we can attack other places and we'll still do okay. Um, I'm going to recovery right there. I prefer this one. Hmm. Ground support, air superiority. Alright, Goring, you're in. There you go, nice. Can you actually get up there fast, faster than they can? Yeah, you can, nice. Good stuff. Don't let him move. Three divisions here, huh? Good. One, two, three. Good. One. Oh, there's only one guy there. There. Nice. Two. 
Well, it's not good when it starts off red like that. Must be mountains, right? Yeah, mountains. That sucks. But we're still doing, soon to do okay. We can't win in there, which sucks, but that's okay. Mm, mountains right there. Ooh, taking here would be really nice too. But uh, Königsberg should be giving them quite a bit of resistance. So they chose it. They chose that resistance, man. Good. Slowly but surely, we will win through Bohemia. Nice. Uh, I'll attack your next two. That's gone fucking Svize. Very good. Happy 1939, everybody. I know it's slowed down quite a bit here, but we really have to focus on making sure we do really well here. Four divisions. I would love to attack there, but Switzerland joins the British Commonwealth. Well, good for them. Which means they're going to die later. Very nice, very nice. Oh, I couldn't quite take Innsbruck, which sucks, but whatever. We lost 74,000 people. Not nearly as many as those other guys, but oh well. You should honestly be able to take that, but whatever. Nice, 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 nice. Three divisions here, huh? Can you actually win here? If you could, that'd be awesome. Maybe, maybe not. We did go mobile warfare, so always want to keep that in mind. But Berno is a frontline city. If we could take Berno, well, I think that'd be great. You should be able to take it, though. That in mind, we're also going to attack uh, four divisions. Is quite a bit. Uh, you, let's go this way. There you go. Come on, take him out. There you go. Ah, Bohemia's gone. Good. First one is gone. Hmm. We don't have a lot of divisions to spare as well. Embrace industrial complex, nationalize the military industry. The industries that feel the military need to be put under supervision. Checking here seems a little dangerous. We could try it. Oh, good job, guys. Good. Kill each other off. Help them out if you can. One division is still here as well. If we can get over here, that'd be awesome. So we take either one of these two tiles and we'll do really great. Uh, come on. Come on. Hey, there we go. Nice. All about these small little circles to begin. You just go in. We're missing guns, motorized, sport equipment. We have a few tanks and a few pieces of artillery too, which is very nice. Okay, I'm okay with that. British intervention against France. Oh, are they starving? Oh, as they should. <sighs> Absolutely beautiful, my friends. I can't do that yet. Mm, going to wait for that one. Smooth talking charmer, might as well, who cares? So let's just reunite Russia. Oh. Russian People's Federative Republic. Now that's a flag. Lev Kamenev. Alright, well, whatever. At least the world's killing itself. Alright, so. We've done a lot of casualties. We really need to get Austria, so let's focus on Austria proper. Should be able to win there pretty easily. Um, you should be able to win there pretty easily. Should be able to win there eventually. Austria. How weak is Austria itself? They have 45,000 manpower. It's not good. Poland's doing okay compared to like us. Um, take three. Go, just go here. Go in. We're going to start... Actually, is that all we need as Austria? Uh, maybe? We'll see. Another division. Oh, another full division. is good. God, I just want to do just a general attack now. We're going to swing down towards uh, Vienna soon, too. Ostrava is fine. Over here. God dang it. 
Do have a cup of coffee here to keep us nice and warm, though. Very good. 10% more attack is not bad. I prefer 15, but whatever. I'll still take it. Go in. Go in. Go in. Go in. Attack all along there, so they're, they're somewhat distracted. Go there. Go there as well. Go there. Ooh, that's one's going to be pretty tough to take. I don't know if we can actually take that tile. Yeah, it's looking pretty bad right now. Cool. Yeah. But after Slava, it would be very nice to get. Keep being into wraps for now, as you're taking out other people, too. Good. You guys help out here immediately. You help out right here, too. Keep them in Veen. Good. You're immediately going to help with support the attack here, too. Come on. Go in. Eh, war support's pretty good. We get weekly war support anyway, so there's no point in spending political power on war support. Nationalize those industries. Good, good, good. National Defense Fund. Investments need to be secured in case of the next conflict, which is surely on the horizon. I mean, we're there. And Veen is ours. Very, very good. It's very costly doing it like this, but, you know, it, get, it does get results. Computer machine. Some of that. Happy 39, everybody, still again. Oh, we need Innsbruck. Could we actually take Innsbruck now? I mean, that'd be really nice if we could. I kind of doubt it. We want to capitulate the Austrians. I think everyone else should capitulate fairly relatively easily. These guys just don't want to attack us up here, do they? No, they do not. We should honestly be able to win there. We really should be able to win. Okay, so we took Innsbruck. Why are they not capitulated? Doesn't make any sense. Well, here we go. They lose that tile, they lose a war. Oh, we need more manpower, too. Look at that. Well, we've got to go to the extensive. So after this one, let's go to the National Research Institute. The Research and Development. Oh, never mind. My apologies about that. Well, we got them. Uh. Wait, what? We didn't get all these guys? No, 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 no. Ooh, actually, you know what? Let me reload the save and see if we can change it up just a little bit. Well, everybody, now here we're at. I just went ahead and was sat a lot of Hungary and Transylvania and Croatia. Surprisingly, they all have the same leader. Go figure. You know, they all have the same leader. But right now, uh, France fell to the Swiss and the Brits. And this is a giant mistake, I think, from the game devs. I could be, it could be wrong. This could be part of the lore. But I don't understand why the UK or the Imperial Federation, as well as America, is guaranteeing the independence of Württemberg, which... I think is a huge, 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 huge mistake. I could be wrong. It might be part of the, the dev lore, but I think that's incredibly not smart. Wait, hold on. The French or a Swiss state? What? What? Yeah, I'm sorry, but that's really incredibly stupid. This is stupid. This is incredibly stupid. Also, we have no manpower, so the Franco-Prussian War, of course. Uh, we got to go to immediately after uh, a sense of conscription. And we're doing a few more focuses off screen, such as this one. Uh, fire initiative. We are in need of new fires, and we should incentivize the production of more new fighter designs. We are in need of new fighter designs, and we should invest into them. Close air for support developments. The bombers that target infantry are good asset, and one, one we shall certainly utilize. Promote a new field marshal. The old guard stands strong in the leadership of the Prussian state, perhaps not much, for not much longer. We should be able to win here, down here. Should be okay, but you never know. Um, anything else we really hear that we need to know about? Honestly, not really, no. Everything's pretty much normal. We can't make any sort of, uh, planes and such. We should do okay on planes. Oh, maybe not. They have a lot of air superiority. Okay, then. We did give our guys some anti-air, though. So, there is that. And you guys are gonna... For, uh, if I could force the attack, I totally would. Oh, Kong? How dare you? I mean, this pisses me off to no end. How? Okay, first of all, why are the Swiss so strong? I don't understand this at all. If anything, they should be neutral. And secondly, like, I, I just don't understand why, why. Why are the South German states guaranteed by the UK? That is a giant thing that is bugging the hell out of me. I just don't understand why. 
going. We're doing fairly okay. Wait, what? As long as we're not fighting Russia, that's okay, but... Uh, yeah, Vernonburg is gone, which is nice. Well, maybe we should have re uh, allied with these guys then. Huh. I mean, it literally makes no sense why they would guarantee them. Is it part of the it must be? It has to be part of the lore. If not, then it's a bug that should be looked at. But I could be wrong. Excuse me, this is our core territory, right? Sawbrook? Um, let's do that one too. Netherlands gone. Belgium is gone. Oh, thank God. Yay! And once France falls, it's all over, hopefully, for them. So They've taken a lot of territory here too, but why are the Swiss so strong? I don't understand this. The Swiss are not strong. They're literally not strong. <laughs> this makes no sense. Yeah, I don't know. This mod still is in development and just... Mm, I don't know. I don't know, man. There's This mod could use a little bit more work just saying. You know, I want to support the mod, but like... Really use a little more development. Oh, let's see, come over here. Let's see. Oh, I'll grab some of that, because we could definitely use that. How can we not win here? So why do they level 10 forts? Why is there lore for that? What is what is what is the lore? That makes no sense. Why? Oh, uh, from a new field marshal, which is nice. And we should get an event saying we should sign with him. Currently, there's a competition between the new and old guard, one led by Hans Guderian, who wants to utilize the armored vehicles developed by the British, and the old guard wants to say to the old methods of warfare. Guderian side. Hans Guderian's idea of mobile warfare emphasizes the speed and agility inherent in the Prussian army. We shall embrace this idea at once. Tanks is plans as well. Armored vehicle experiments. The core philosophy of the mobile warfare of Blitzkrieg is reliance on their tanks. To make, our, to make this our main strategy, we need to get ourselves armored vehicles of our own. Pretty much. How fast can we capitulate the French? That'd be good if we could capitulate them very quickly. And let's also go down and get rid of this. That'd be better. Slightly better for us. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. This is kind of this is stupid. I don't like this. Uh, like, this is, this is incredibly stupid. I don't understand why. Like, what is the purpose of them guaranteeing and fighting, literally fighting and dying for South Germans? I mean, that 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 boggles my mind. Why why, why are the Swiss called in? I mean, and, and this is a historical. That's like, I do remember. You know, it is a historical. Call these guys in. We need them. Oh wait, we're on Russia's side too. This is nice. But still, w why? And that kind of ruins the campaign for me here. And the Swiss don't have that much manpower, if anything. Free elections. You are you are literally the aggressors here. We want to unite all of the Germans together under one state. And you guys say no, like, come on. <laughs> I don't know, this type of this type of action just kind of sours me on playing this mod again. <laughs> At least for in Europe. Uh, this makes literally no sense. Why do we have to fight? Are we fighting in America as well? Yeah, why? Why? What the hell do we have to do that? That makes no sense, man. That makes no sense. If anything, the United States of America, you broke free from them, and then you rejoined them. Why? <laughs> it makes no sense whatsoever. Oh my god, game. Stop lagging so hard. Show me what's going on. Some manpower. Okay, so why, why do we have to fight these guys when they have 2-4 million manpower? Why? Why? That makes no sense. That's way too strong. Way, 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 way too strong. Especially when we have, like, maybe a million? <laughs> maybe? This just doesn't make any sense. Why is, why is Switzerland so strong? And we, we can't even break them when we're not even in our own... They're, when they're not fighting on core territory. Like, bro. At least we're doing well in France. I like that. That's very nice. We lost a lot of guys, but... And these guys are 40 combat with as well, so... Like, I'm not sure what else to say. But this is kind of stupid. This is really... They, they shouldn't have... If Prussia is not united, they should not have level 10 forts here. It should be more like Kaiserreich. And we should have, like, level 2 forts, level 3 forts, maybe max. This makes no sense why they have level 10 forts. It's not like Germany was, like, beat them once in, like, the Franco-German War, unless that's part of the lore. Which, I'm sorry I didn't read, but, like, it doesn't make sense. It makes no sense. Oh, boy, we're gonna need some fuel, aren't we? Um... Does... Ah, uh, Russia does not. Transcaucasia exists. And they have fuel. How much more of France do we need? 
All, all I want is France. That's literally all I want. All I want is France and South Germany. Why? Who's just fine on us? I'm not going to fight the Russians. I'm sorry. No. New armor manufacturer, though. In order to facilitate armor warfare, we need to decide who will make these new tanks. Pretty much. Because I want to. Wow, we are, we've lost a lot of guys. Um, if the if the Swiss can capitulate the French as fast, we've got a serious problem here. And I know it shouldn't be just forced attacking, but I want them to capitulate. And they refuse to capitulate. Like, this is... I don't want to do this. This is so stupid. Who, does, who designed it like this? <laughs> when the Swiss are this ridiculously strong. Like, come on. Oh, yeah, I'm done. Okay, so they invaded me. I'm done. So I'm sorry. I apologize about this, but, uh, yeah, we're done here. I mean, we can capitulate them, but for some reason, the devs made Switzerland super, 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 super strong. So I apologize for this, but I'm going to end it here. I'm, I'm done. I can't do this anymore. Not with not with Imperial Federation. Actually, this is my second attempt doing this already. But for some reason, the French are ridiculously strong. The Imperial Federation needs a nerf. It needs a big nerf. Or at least, maybe if they don't go Imperial Federation, maybe they'll be better, but, like... This is ridiculous, and they need to be seriously, majorly nerfed, or at least make sure America doesn't join their stupid little faction. But hey, if you enjoyed the video, regardless, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. Let me know what your thoughts are about this mod so far, because I'm feeling kind of mixed about it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in another campaign. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.